Hi all, Karen Doll coming at you again. I have another Forces of Destiny doll review with you. This is Sabin Wren. Um, this is part of the Forces of Destiny series. I believe Sabin is on the show Rebels, the cartoon that's on uh, Disney. These guys are made by Hasbro. I have reviewed um, Ray and BB-8 and Leia and R2-D2 previously, so make sure you check out those reviews. And she's supposed to have like a little um, whip action in her hip We'll see how well it works on this one. So, um, back, Star Wars Forces of Destiny, Sabin Wren, an artist and a rebel. She uses her explosive creativity to fight the air empire. And it's a couple different uh, languages. Cannot talk tonight. It says aim blaster, so you can aim her blaster. Um, we have Raya Jakku, which I've reviewed, and I have Jen Urso. We're going to do in the next review, Disney and Hasbro. So let's go ahead and get Sabin out of the box. And you guys got to let me know in the comments which ones you have. I'm still trying to locate a couple more now that I'm missing. Because I think I'm missing this still the single one of Ray. Which I, I'm going to look and see because if I do find her, she's not that much different from the Ray and BB-8 one. I probably won't get her. And then I need um, Leia um on endor one and apparently there is a chewbacca one that i just found out about recently and i'm waiting to see when these new ones are coming out because they are coming out with an ahsoka one which i'm excited about as well as some additional they're doing a luke um a ray and kylo ren um they're supposed to be doing a leia from like new hope so I'm going to be noisy opening, but I did really like the doll quality on the other two and kind of made me excited to get, find the rest of them. So I was at Walmart recently, um, and it wasn't a Walmart I'm normally at, and they happened to have Sabin and Jin on clearance for five bucks. So that made it all the more exciting when I found them. Because I have been, I had like seen these two initially, but like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to get into collecting these. And after I got the first two, I was like, yeah, I want to get the rest. And I'm having trouble getting her cut out of here. So give me one second, guys. I'm trying to see where she's all. Okay, she has gummies all over the place, like holding parts of her together. Parts of her outfit together. I shouldn't say holding parts of her together. Okay, here we go. Here we go, we're getting her. Okay. And then those dreaded pieces in the back, you guys know I absolutely hate. So, let me go ahead. Oh, well, these ones actually seem like they're going to be a little easier to cut. There we go. All right. I'll just push them into her head. I actually like her hair. So, there are gummies around some of them. Um, her knee pads and that. I'm probably going to leave those on there for now just so I don't lose those pieces. And then I just got to get our little blaster out of here, which is not being cooperative. Okay, that was not easy to get out. Okay, so coming in here, looking at Saban, like I said, I'm not all that familiar with Rebels. Um, Bob watches it, has watched it more than I have. So um, I thought I heard somewhere that she is supposed to be from the same race as Jenga Fat and Bubba Fat. So if I'm wrong on that, correct me in the comments, but I thought that was something I 
heard or saw somewhere. So she has very short hair and it's done in like a dark blue and then a lighter blue underneath. She has like a caramel color to her skin, brown eyes. It looks like she's got a little bit of brown eyeshadow, a little blush on her cheeks, a little light coloring on her lips. And then coming down, this upper part of her body is molded. So she has like this gray, orange, purple, yellow, gray, black thing going on here. And then she has um, black gloves. And it looks like she has like different, yeah, these do, like these pieces do come off. I'm leaving the gummies on these ones for now until I see everything. Then she has this brown two-sided uh, belt with two blasters. Well, here's the other blaster. It was inside the packet. So she has a blaster on each side. And then coming down, she has two different shades of brown pants on, but that's done in a cloth. She has like these orange knee pad things on. I left the gummy on here. And then she has like brown boots with orange in the front. They are slitted in the back. So you can kind of, hold on, I'm trying to open this. So you can kind of see her pants only go down so far. And then there's the bottom half of her leg. And then there's kind of the back. So you can take the belt off. There is a Velcro here to take her pants off. And then there's the back of her hair a little bit more. Then she also comes with this helmet. So it does kind of resemble like Jenga Fett, Bubba Fett's helmet. Um, it's a very hard plastic, done in kind of like a red and orange, gray, brown, black. Let's see if we can, yeah, this. So we can actually put it on her head. So that is really cool. It looks kind of, makes her head look kind of big though. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll really keep it on there or not. So then um, I'm trying to see, okay, that's I guess the blaster arm. So let me put her blaster in. Oh, I didn't show you the blaster. So they're just these two little, they're kind of flat, kind of a silver gray. And it looks like both her hands, you could put one in. So I'm just gonna try to do the one. Yeah, cause this one is not getting the clicking motion. So I'm gonna fix her wrist. Okay. So we're supposed to squeeze. Okay, it's not moving that much. Maybe I need to put it down a little bit more. Yeah, that was a, that's the only thing that's been a little bit of a disappointment for me. But like I said, I'm collecting them for the dolls purposes. Like, it seems like it's a cool concept, but I don't know what's, or if I'm even doing it wrong. Who knows? I may be doing it wrong. But like I said, I love the doll quality. So that's the big thing for me. So I'm just going to put her blaster back in. As far as articulation, um, the head, their shoulders, like this shoulder's loose, like the loose one, but this one, you can hear the clicking because that's the one that's supposed to move when you squeeze her legs. So um, they both, okay, elbow and wrist. So they have a lot of articulation. Her waist when she moves, um, the hip and the knee. The knee's kind of, tight but they will she will bend in the knee so like i said i love the dolls so that's not going to de deter me from collecting them i think it's a great idea especially you know for little girls who love star wars or big girls who love star wars to have something else so i think it was a very cool concept i'm looking forward to trying to find the other ones and i'm looking forward to the new ones coming out so hopefully i'll find those and once i do i'll review them with you guys but that is it for this review i owe a shout out greg perez hopefully i'm saying or per perez greg if you know who you are you know who you are thanks thanks for leaving a comment hope you're still watching that's it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when I post new content. Also help share my page because once we get to 500, it'll be big giveaway time. I don't think Saban would dance like that though. <laughs> Not that I know much about her, but so we'll figure out what we're giving away closer to that time. Subscribers, thank you. You guys are awesome. Love you all. Please keep coming back for more. New subscribers, welcome aboard. Hope you're enjoying things and keep coming back. Uh, comment if you want a shout out. Comment if there's something out there you want me to review. I'm going to put her bounty helmet on and we'll say we'll see you in the next one. Bye.